All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for a couple of real people out there, just like you and just like me. All right, um, before I forget, today is the National Day of Prayer here in the United States. I know I don't talk about prayer or things like that, but um, yeah, um, if you can pray for this country, if you're not from this country and you can pray for this country, uh, or if you're not really the praying type, just think about it for a minute and say a prayer. Um, prayer works. Uh, it's powerful. Doesn't here's here's my punchline about prayer. Doesn't always change things for you, but most of the time it changes you for things. So there you go. That's my word of wisdom. Uh, before I get going on this video, I'm going to be talking about Ann Wilson and the heart situation. Check this out. I mean, <laughs> this is like a fine piece of artwork, the fifth dimension. Uh, their album called Portrait, late 60s, early 70s. Spectacular. Uh, it is like a painting. And um, I picked this up at a thrift store and I was just like, wow. Um, they're not going to make stuff like this anymore. Contains the hit song, One Less Bell to Answer. Uh, written by the late, great Burt Backrack and his partner, Hal David. Uh, back in the days when uh, they used to try to out songwrite each other and write just amazing songs. Uh, uh, look, you can call me the old guy on the porch all you want, but it's it's not coming back. This This kind of creativity, you know, if you get a little glimpse of it here and there, you get a little flicker of it you're you're hopeful and it you know it might come back probably in another what 100 or 200 years or something when all this other stuff has exhausted itself and people want to get back to listening to actual real music or of course by then ai will have taken everything over <laughs> and uh we won't be able to even find stuff like this so yeah go to your local thrift store you never know what you're going to find maryland Marilyn McCoo, Billy Davis Jr. Marilyn McCoo, of course, um, Solid Gold, the host of Solid Gold with the Solid Gold Dancers. I had to just throw that in there. Um, I know people in the 80s were like, who is this lady? And then you, you know, go back in time and uh, her and her husband had a TV show, I believe. And then <clears throat> The Fifth Dimension, one of these psychedelic soul bands. Give me some psychedelic soul. Give me some ball of confusion any day of the week, man. All right, so uh, let's move on to heart. Um, I got a lot of response to the heart video I did about the fact that Ann Wilson's going on tour and uh, there's no heart. There's just Ann Wilson. I don't know what Nancy Wilson is going to do. My guess is she'll probably take her band out on the road. I know she was doing the music of heart with her band, I think, last year or maybe the year before, probably not the year before because of the um, the thing Demic, but uh, I don't know. This is a lot of fans are like, hey, I really was looking forward to seeing Heart this year. Um, what's going on? Why can't they reconcile? This is ridiculous. I really don't care about um, Ann Wilson's solo music. The rock media, by the way, is always promoting <clears throat> the Ann Wilson solo music. But they don't play it. But on their, you know, their homepage on all these websites, they're like, hey, Ann Wilson just dropped a new song. And uh, I'm like, are you guys playing it? No, but she just dropped a new song. We got to talk about it. We're going to keep playing Barracuda every five minutes. But as we do that, we're going to mention that, you know, she's got new music that we're not going to really pay any attention to. Um, so it's a two pronged problem for Ann Wilson. Number one, she needs her sister. Number two, uh, nobody really cares about the new material. And that's across the board, you know, journey, freedom that went nowhere. Um, there are a number and it's a good album. It might have sold well over in Europe. Or maybe Japan, right? But um, for the most part, these albums here in the States, um, they're not promoted. Uh, they get zero radio airplay. Uh, even your satellite radio stations, from what I understand, um, they don't touch this stuff. 
and it's ridiculous. It's we are in a holding pattern with music. And again, a lot of people, they send me stuff that's um, current and I'll listen to it. And then I, you know, and then I find stuff like this, right? You'll say, well, that's really old, man. Doesn't have the production value of, oh, it actually does if you go listen to it, especially with the technology. It, it has incredible production value. Uh, you hear things uh, in there that you don't hear uh, because they give everything room to breathe. You know, you can hear different instruments. Um, but getting back to the whole heart debacle, um, this is a legacy that's being squandered. Uh, there are a number of bands, Aerosmith, is about to wrap up after so many years of, you know, starts and stops and a lot of wasted time. I would say Aerosmith kind of wasted the last 20 years. And this is a band that had tremendous capital even in the 1990s, still topping the charts, uh, still doing really well deep into that decade, thanks to Diane Warren, for the most part. But um, then I guess they decided, well, you know, We've got this great legacy. Maybe we should all take a break. Maybe Steven Tyler had issues. Um, as far as I know, nobody in heart had any recent uh, issues with substance abuse. Um, you know, it's just that Ann Wilson seems to want to think it's, you know, 30, 40 years ago, and uh, she's going to just keep trying to reinvent herself when there are a lot of people that really like the music of heart i actually you know i i kind of listen to more 80s heart than 70s heart but the 70s stuff is it's the best it just is the best if you go back and listen to those albums even the the deeper tracks and things that you never heard before i think you'll be really impressed listening to and this was an opportunity maybe for the two sisters to go out there on stage, have some acoustic guitars, have a more unplugged performance going. And it would have been fantastic. But apparently they couldn't agree on which band they were gonna use and wanted to use her solo band. Nancy wanted to use musicians that had uh, been with the band before all this so it's kind of like my way or the highway so there's going to be no way uh, i'll just go out solo now ann wilson because she is kind of like the face of heart she's the lead singer for the most part nancy sings a few tracks but ann is the face and voice of heart for the most part so she takes advantage of that and uh she figures, hey, I don't have to deal with my sister. I don't have to worry about these issues. I'll just go out there as Ann Wilson. I've got tremendous name ID. And so, you know, I can make lots of money just doing that. Meanwhile, fans uh, would really appreciate if she did a tour, for instance, and she just went back to the basics. I think a lot of fans would be into that. But it's still not the same without her sister. And, um, you know, this has been a soap opera really since the late 1970s. Uh, there was a bit of a Fleetwood Mac thing going on within Heart, and it was actually probably worse in some regards than what happened in Fleetwood Mac. So everybody kind of went their separate ways, and then the band, of course, reinvented themselves in the 80s, changed their style, changed their sound, and uh, Ann Wilson, I think, kind of laments some of that stuff. But um, I don't know, folks. I just think if you're a fan of heart, you want to hear, you know, authentic sounding heart music. Uh, Ann Wilson can still sing. Nancy Wilson still sings very well. And so you got both of these sisters and you don't have any concerts booked at least um, through August 30th. But if you want to go see Ann Wilson, you can. And a lot of people probably will. But I'm not really interested in hearing, you know, Ann Wilson sing Alice in Chains or whatever. Um, but that's what you're probably you're going to hear some of the stuff that you want to hear, but then you're going to hear a lot of stuff that you just don't want to hear. I mean, Hart just has this amazing catalog. 
And they have a lot of songs that have disappeared from radio that their fans would love to hear performed live again. All right. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, I want to thank everybody who chimed in on that, all the patrons who were sending me messages like, hey, I wanted to go see Heart. And, and a lot of people love that band, and they had <clears throat> they had a real, like, detailed perspective on it. So I appreciate those thoughts. Um, I also appreciate this amazing artwork. Um, <laughs> just... You know, you should go to thrift stores. I don't always buy albums at thrift stores because most of the time they're in really rough shape. But uh, this is in pretty good shape. I don't know. The sleeve is pretty basic here, but you can take a look. I mean, that's just... I mean, this is an era that has, uh, you know, gone away. Although album sales, like vinyl, like the reproductions of the vinyl that they're doing and these new artists that are putting out vinyl... Uh, it's booming. It's doing really well. I think last year, LP vinyl sold more than CDs. So yeah, that might be the future just because you can own something. You can own something, you know, they want you not to own anything and be happy. Well, you know, I like owning stuff, physical product, not just stream it over here. Hey, you don't have to own it. You can just put it on a playlist. Yeah, well, I do that sometimes, but uh, it's just good to have stuff, you know. And I know you can't take it with you. I understand that. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching the channel. Please subscribe. Don't forget um, the bell. One, one bell to answer <laughs> is the notification bell, right? And hit that bell, and uh, that way you'll be notified when uh, new videos are dropped. Uh, also, Patreon had a lot of support last month. I'd like to keep it going. Um, you know, if what, one tenth of my audience, one twentieth of my audience decided that they wanted to help out, and I'm talking about subscribers, um, I could just do what I want to do and not worry about, you know, if people are even going to watch the videos. Although I appreciate that and the commercials, I get it. The advertisements, you know, I'm getting them all over the place now. And some of them go on forever, like a 10 minute advertisement for something. Occasionally though, they actually put something on there that uh, is interesting to me. Then I end up watching it, it's pretty weird. I guess if you're good at uh, your job and you're not like the uh, people over at Bud Light, you'll get people to watch your uh, advertisements, right? All right, <clears throat> enough digs, I'm done. Thanks again, and I will talk to y'all soon.